Okay, hello and good morning. Make sure you're keeping track of your bell work. Today is 9.20. And this is week six. Name, date, and period. Okay, well, let's take a look. Um, the car is $4,000. You save $150 a month. How long will it take you to pay for it? Well, simple division, 4,000 divided by 150. It's going to take you 27 months to pay it off, just a little over two years. Installment plan is 20% down, so 4,000 times 0.2. You need to come up with $800. So $800 is your down payment. You need that. Okay? So if you do that, then you owe, when you subtract, $3,200. Because if you add that, you get $4,000. Um, let's see what else. Two years, $133 a month. What's the finance charge? Well, if you take $133.33, times 24, let's see what we get. So it should be that actually. 133.33 times 24. And that's gonna give you um, 31.99.92 is what you're gonna pay back, plus the 800. Let's see what that comes to, plus 800. That gives you 399.92. So it's just under 4,000. So at this rate, um, they must not have been charging any finance charge. Okay? All right, let's move on. We're going on to 3.2. So on a new sheet of paper, copy down these definitions and we're going to talk about them. All right, so let's talk about them. A cosigner. Well, sometimes a bank will not give you a loan unless somebody cosigns for you. And what that means is if you renege and don't pay, the bank has a right to go after the person who cosigned for the payment. Life insurance. Sometimes a loan or a bank requires that you have life insurance because if you die, it will pay off whatever is owed on that loan. Prepayment privilege. That means you can pay it without getting a penalty. So if you buy a house and there's a privilege to prepay, allows you to prepay, you don't have a penalty. Make sure you get that when you buy your house or even your car. A penalty, you do not want this, okay? Because if you start making early payments to try to save some interest, you won't get penalized. But if there's a prepayment penalty, they will charge you for paying your loan off early. Wage garnishment. That's usually a court order that contacts your employer and has them pay someone else directly. So let's say you're married and something happens and the court garnishes your pay. Then your ex-spouse will get a payment from them without having to ask you for it. It'll come right out of your check. And that could be in the form of, say, child support. So let's go on. A balloon payment. Your notes might be very low, so you can afford it. And then all of a sudden, the very last payment is very large. Pawn shops. You can go there to get a quick loan on some of your stuff. Payday loan, you must pay it back by your next paycheck. So those are all definitions and terms that you need to know. Let's take a look now before we start talking about today's work. Now, I want you to look at this problem here, and they give you a table. And so on today's work, if you need the table, I'll show it to you. Let's take a look at example one. What is the monthly payment, $4,000 for two years? with a 4% interest rate, 
Okay. Well, let's take a look. If you look, this chart is per $1,000. So you're doing 4%, which is right here, in two years. So you're paying $43.42 a month per 1000 And you have four years, or 4000 rather. So per 1000 you got to multiply by four. And that gives you your monthly payment. Okay? Again, I'll show you that table if we should need it. Let's look at example two. What is the total?